Hi, I'm Joey, and I'm an ambassador for Do Crafts. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this simple canvas using the artist acrylic paint. So just get whatever canvas shape you want, whatever size you want. And then the way I started with this, the main thing we're going to use actually that I forgot is the colour shapers. So these are a silicon tipped tool. So this means that cleaning up is really easy. So if you, you were painting and you left this, you could come back and just peel this off. Or what I tend to do is while I'm working, just have a baby wipe or a damp cloth and just wipe it off. But if you left it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Right, so to begin with, what I did was I went round the edge with my white acrylic. And you really don't have to be worrying about this. So I just blobbed plenty on. Depending on the size of your canvas, depends on how much of that you'll put on. And then what I kind of thought about was four different segments of this. So I blobbed it on and kind of kept it to four segments, but you know, not worrying too much and kind of blobbing it on again. But you need plenty because we're going to use these colour shapers to blend these together. So we'll kind of mix the colour on the canvas really. I'd quite like if we get an odd blob. That wanted to be happening on its own, but just put one on and pretend it was an accident. <laughs> so you just want occasional little blobs somewhere else. And then you choose your colour shaper. So different ones have got different. So this one's got like little splits in it. So if you can see, it's got little splits. This one's just a flat one, so they'll make totally different shapes. But to begin with, what I did was just went round the outside edge with this and just did it with the white. I like this because I think it mixes the colour nicely if you just do the edges white. If it just stops and you've got nothing there, it doesn't mix as well. If that makes any sense, it kind of doesn't mix as well. So if we just put that round the edge, it kind of got something to spread into. So then I did a nice little... Now you've got to make sure that you don't do lots and lots of mixing. You've got to do your strokes and then leave it. If you start doing lots of mixing, you'll mix the colours too much and you'll just get muddy. So you just do different strokes, different ways. And if you decide you've got too much on, you could kind of take it back because there's like a flat edge there. So you could kind of bring that in and take that back. And then I think I'm going to use, <laughs> I love these colour shapers, so I just have to use them all. That's lovely. So depending on how gentle you do it or rough you do it, depends on what you get. I'll just wipe that off. Before I start on this. We want plenty on and then we get this nice texture. In fact, I'm going to leave that texture because I quite like that as well. So the only thing we've got left now is the drips here. So I think we'll do this this way. I really think it works nicely if we kind of keep the colours separate a bit. I want a little bit more texture on that. I think we'd better stop there because if you get too much on, you mix it and then it ends up brown. So I think that's quite nice because we've got lots of texture. It's very similar to the one we've got here. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it encourages you to have a go. Really is simple. So just have a go and be free and enjoy it. Thank you for watching.